Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you guys are on a brilliant day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all about how you can set up a membership screening, which is basically like a jacked up version of how you can screen out members if they're perhaps a little bit dodgy, don't have linked emails, if that's what you want on your Discord server, or you can just provide them with some rules that they need to agree to in a better way than the traditional way. Now, probably the traditional way that you would do this is just by having a screen with a list of rules on, or to take that step further, you can use a like YAG PDB to have it so that someone needs to react with an icon to that and then it will open up the rest of the channels in your server. I've done different videos about these types of things so feel free to check all of my Discord videos out. I'll link some of them in the description below. But what this does, it's a way that you can set up membership screening and have a really nice user experience for the viewer and the user when they join your Discord server. It's a nice looking panel. You can customize all the elements of the panel and once someone's agreed to those, it's really clear that they're they've got to agree to those rules, it then opens up the rest of your server. Hopefully it makes sense, but I'll make it clear in the video. If you find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Also, jump into my Discord if you want to come hang out, if you want more tips and tricks, especially if you're a streamer, because I do loads of streaming videos. Yeah, let's go. First up, a quick thanks to Owned.TV, who are my partners and are sponsoring this video. Please show Owned.TV some love. You may not know, but on Owned.TV, you can make sub emotes, sub badges. There's an avatar maker. You can even make trailers and gaming logos for your channel, as well as all of the usual stuff that you can get from Owned.TV, like stream overlays and designs. And the best part is, if you use code machine at checkout, then you get 50% off your order. Check out own.tv and let me know what you guys think. So I'm here in my Discord server. It's Machine Day in a streaming crash. This is the typical way I used to do it. So just having a nice set of rules, clean, a few emojis here just to sort of make some of the rules pop. And I've even bolded some of the text as well. Somebody needs to respond by clicking this icon and then all of these other servers will open up for the members. And that's because a member will be given this verified server role and they need to see that role to see most of these other servers. Here we're going to set up member screening and to do this we need to click on the server settings here the discord server settings that we need to look at here for member screening is here so membership screening is under the community tab here and there's a few things that we need to go through here now first of all discord has got a few other things coming they've given us a flavor so we've got short answers paragraphs multiple choice and connections which is interesting this is kind of like a look into what might be coming here from discord so it looks like they're giving creators a lot more options in the future but at the moment all we've got is the server rules there's a few different things we can look at and we'll go through all of these settings now, first of all, you can give your server a description. So it's just like 300 characters to give someone a feel for what your server is. So make sure you give it like some sort of description here. I kind of think this is a little bit dumb because most people probably know what they're going to get from your server. So I don't really think this is necessary. So I've just said it's a place where we can procrastinate. Now, for me, it's grayed out whether or not I have to insist new members have to verify their email. So we can choose to adjust the setting here, but I'm not allowed to do that. And the reason why I can't do that is is because already in my base Discord server settings, I insist on people having a verified email. So if we click on going to moderation settings here, I've got low moderation here, which just means they must have a verified email to their Discord account. Now, because mine is a community server, I'm actually not allowed to have unrestricted, completely unrestricted Discord members in my server. So if you want to have a really low moderation on your server here, you basically can't have a community server. If you want a community server, you've got to have at least this low section here. So if you've got a community server this will be grayed out like it is for me and now we're actually going to set up the server rules now what i'm going to do i'm going to set some server rules in the description below just a little bit of a template if you want to just copy and paste some of the things that i'm doing here or of course you can just create your own because it only takes a couple of minutes to do it now this is pretty good this could have already set up some really nice easy clickable links here so i'm just going to click all these and they're actually longer here when you see them than what they look when you click them. And we can reorder these just by moving these like that. And then we can delete one as well. We can also choose to just edit these as well. Just edit the text on them too. You can also add more rules, add more rules, add more rules. And you can basically add as many rules as you want here. Now, the cool thing is this carries over some formatting rules that apply throughout the whole of Discord. So if you put two stars either side of them, it will bold it. If you put one star either side of the text, it will italics. And I think that 
there's also two underlines like this. We'll underline it as well. Yeah, underline it. But you can also bold and underline it too. We just do that. So you see that's bolded and underlined. And also, if you hold shift and press enter, you can have line breaks like I've got here. You'll see I've got like a space here. Now, I'm fairly happy with how these look now. Now, with this guide section here, I've had to split it off across three different rules. And that's because there's a 300 character limit per rule. But I didn't want to put them each and every one separately because I didn't think that was really necessary. If I could now click save on that, we can see a preview of what it looks like. And we now see that there's a, I have read and agreed to these terms and conditions. Now, at any point, if you want to turn off these rules, you just click this X button here and you'll be asked to confirm it. You can also go into the pencil tool and edit these as well and change them at any time. And that's that. That's now enabled on my server. There's nothing that I need to save here. I can just click escape here. Now we want to test it. Now, the final thing you've got to do before enabling this to actually work on your channel is actually enable the thing itself. So click enable here and it will enable Discord membership screening like that. And we'll see the green tick here. That now should work on the server. You can also preview it here to see what it looks like. So we see you'll need to complete these required steps below. Read, acknowledge, submit. That's what everyone now has to do before they join your server. But they also got a preview of the server remotes as well on the channel and also the number of Discord members on the Discord server. So now I've got another Discord account that I use to test things like this. So I'm now going to log in with my test account into my machine day in his crash server by clicking on the plus icon here in a browser and i'm going to join the server i'm going to paste the discord link and click join server now because on my server we can actually see these two channels what i need to do is just remove this server rule section here and there's a little section down here that we can see which is you must complete a few more steps before you can talk so i'm going to click complete on this and as you can see the rules pop up here i've got to read through these rules i've got to acknowledge them and click submit now we can still have a secondary level of rules here or something else which is like a another extra tool that you can have in place before all the discord servers and all the channels are visible that's something that you can do if you want for example you could have a reaction role that says if you're interested in x click this button and it will open up those servers relating to what they've reacted to for me personally i just want everything to be opened up as soon as that happens so i'm probably going to change it so that these two are not actually here but it just gives you an extra layer of security and a little bit more increased usability on the discord server as well i'm sure you'll agree nice and easy to set up and something that just adds a little bit of an extra zing to your discord server if you did find this useful hit the like button it really really helps me feel free to subscribe to the channel for more discord content and also finally check out this video here this is how you can set up a discord server boost progress bar on your discord server this is something that takes 30 seconds to set up and makes a big difference to how your discord server looks makes it look really really clean it literally takes just 30 seconds have a wonderful day take care Thank you.